Ostrich. This red skin is from the Nile alligator. The cutter maintains the pattern in place with a weight. He cuts out the shape of the bag, leaving a border called a turning in all along the pattern. This skiving machine delicately shaves the back of the alligator skin to make it thin and pliable. A polishing jack creates a sheen. A plating machine applies heat and pressure to remove creases and make the skin shiny. Now it's placed on a hot plate for a few seconds to raise the skin and create what is called French Bombay. They brush rubber cement on the back of the skin and apply it to a thin piece of leather called a pliver. This will keep the Bombay from flattening over time. Then he cuts off the excess skin, creating a turning in. This heavy paper and foam will go inside the bag's cover to give it structure and a cushiony feel. He removes the center part of the paper to help the cover fold easily. He uses a bone folder to fold the turning in over the paper, then carefully hammers it in place. Now he's making the sides, called gussets, and the bottom of the bag. He applies thin muslin and rubs it in place under a protective paper. Both gussets are sewn to the bag's bottom using a very fine needle. The stitches must be as discreet as possible. The bag's lining is made of soft lamb leather called cabretta. The top half contains a magnetic circle which serves to close the bag. The brand's nameplate is also attached to the lining. The nameplate sits inside the bag, so it will only be visible when the bag is open. The pocketbook maker delicately glues the lining to the bottom of the bag. He folds the leather over with the bone folder and uses the hammer to make the juncture as thin as possible. Since the covers are glued in place, there are no stitches visible on the front and back of the bag giving it a more luxurious look. Now he scratches the border to remove the sheen, which will help the glue adhere to the leather. He applies the back and front cover to the lining of the bag, making sure all the covers line up perfectly. This step is only performed by experienced pocketbook makers as it is crucial to the final look of the bag. Anything less than perfect would look like a cheap imitation. Custom colored paints will fill in any gaps and cover any variation in the leather. They finish by polishing the bag using a small amount of shoe polish and a buffing cloth. They must use very little polish to avoid buildup in the grain of the leather. This also removes any dirt or cement. It takes about seven hours to make an alligator bag. All the time, effort and materials